Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great. Please check out the description box for all the useful links, all the nice links. And also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Uh, so let's just keep going. Um, we're talking about the drop down list. And we made a little uh, a pushback button here. Um, and it's just, you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter for now so now we just got to think about what the hell's going on so it, remember these are buttons okay now each of these buttons need to be updated for this drop down list so I gotta make a little little array here because um, this is a vector the list is a vector so I'm just gonna do a for um, auto reference I this list like that and then this no i dot uh, let's see update right update uh, mouse position that's why we needed the mouse position in the update function and then we also need to do this active element update mouse position so there we go, because active element is the, I'll put that first, that is the uh, first element here. So that's the update. Now, this is the button constructor. I need to set, this is the default, of course, so that's cool. Uh, I need to create another little uh, variable here for the drop down list so we got the list now I need to make a boolean show list okay and this is gonna decide if I click on the uh, on the thing uh, what do you call it the uh, the list button basically um, and then I'll, I want to see the list basically that's that that would be for me to see the list so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that so I have that boolean now set and I'm going to set it right in here. So this font and then show list equals false. Okay. So it's going to be hidden, hidden away. Oh, I don't need that. Uh, and here we go. So, and this, this update for the list is only going to happen if this show list. All right. Cause we don't want to update the list in case, uh, if we don't have the whole list showing, that's the only time we're going to update the list. So there we go. That's it. Um, also the render. So this active element render target. Okay. And we'll just copy paste this whole little thing here and put it at the bottom. And when we're showing the list, then we're going to render the I render target. Okay. Then we're going to render the wrist list. So it'll look like it's dropping down basically. Okay, um, and then we'll update and everything and all that stuff. So we're we're updating the mouse position. We're updating the list now. If um, I gotta do that after here, right here. If this um, active element is pressed, all right. If we do press the active element this show list equals true if this show list this show list equals false else this show list equals true all right so that's pretty much going to be be that now this is going to switch really fast but we'll handle that later with a key time key time event because we're in in the update here and this is going to need its own little key time, the GUI. The GUI namespace, basically. So, for the drop down list, I'm going to make a little. Let's see, let's do a little key time for this. Float key time. Float key time max all right that's what we're gonna do and then we'll make a little function bool const bool 
get key time like that and then we'll define that so this is basically going to um, like that and then we're going to do void update key time so that's going to update the key time for me and this is going to be specific for uh, the drop down list basically and we could do this for each button as well that could be cool because uh, that could that could give a individual kind of key time to each button so you can't spam one button um, but for us right now you know it, do it doesn't really matter this drop down list is more important that we have a little key time here so we can actually open and close it so get key time update key time and if you remember your state has the same kind of uh, kind of um, functionality functions okay so get key time uh, this is going to be functions right here and this is going to be access source am I even recording yes I am okay cool so now we got a bunch of stuff um, right here let's see so get key time if this key time is greater or equal to this key time max then return let's see return true and set this key time to 0 0.f else we'll just return false uh, and update key time if this key time is less than this key time max this key time plus equals 10 point f multiplied by dt and we're gonna have to do a const float dt right here and also a const float dt in the actual update function for the drop down list and we're just gonna add those parameters in the cpp file as well so there you go so you got the dt you got the dt in there going back in here um, and then we will this update key time dt so that will happen first and then we'll update the active element and then we'll check if active element is pressed and and uh, this get key time all right and then there you go so that's that's pretty good so we'll add it by 10 key time max okay that is good uh, then we need to set default values so key time equals key time max and then we gotta set key time max to maybe 1.f something like that I think should be fine or 10.f I'm not sure maybe one or one or one should be fine and then show list yeah key time key time max okay that looks that looks pretty good so now we have this whole key time functionality ready to go for us um, and everything is initialized and set this basically um, show and hide the list this updates the list renders the active element okay cool that looks that looks fine that looks fine let me just minimize those that is the button okay all right so now we before we render one of these we have to check something we need to go into actually the constructor and we need to fix this so the idea is to give a font, a list of elements, number of elements, default, also a position. So float x, float y. So this is going to be the position of the actual drop down list, where it's going to where it's going to be. And I'm just going to put that right there. Uh, good. So that's the position. And that's going to actually, I think this is the size. So... 
yeah x y and then that is the size of each button i'm probably gonna have to do that as well um let me just paste those and i'll say width height i'll just copy those as well paste them in the h file like that font string list number of elements default index okay cool and the same thing here so that should be fine right i think that's fine i don't think it's bugging out it should be fine yeah okay so now we now we can give it a width and a height from outside and a also there you go um yeah and also uh the position so once that's done this is the let's, let's give it 12 as a character size and this is the color of the text i guess the color of the text uh, should be 255 maybe 150 and then 255 this is the yeah and this is the active color so that's cool uh, this is the background color 250 to 200 a little bit transparent 200 and then 200 okay so that that seems that seems that seems cool i think that's i think that's okay uh, what the hell happened why did that bug out oh wait because i copied uh 200 because i copied one of these parentheses i don't want to do that okay there you go so now we got a nice little little thing going here i'll push these back so height this is the height and this is the position so i'll set a position plus i the number of the button multiplied by height so the first one is going to be zero multiplied by height i'll put parentheses you don't need to according to math rules but if you do so the first one is just going to be at the y position zero times anything is zero then the next button is going to be plus one times the height of the button so it's going to be pushed down and so on and so on and so on and uh, yeah that will pretty much give us a little list type thing okay so now we're done with that now let's try this out let's go ahead and go into let's go ahead and go into game state main menu state setting state let's go into setting state okay and we'll just make a little gui drop down list um pointer ddl this is just a test list okay i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna open setting state cpp and init button so i'm just gonna do that here so this ddl equals new drop gui drop down list and that's basically at position maybe a hundred 100 with um 200 i'm not going to do the point f because this is just a test anyway 50 for the height uh, font is just font uh doesn't matter i don't need to do this font um the list obviously we're going to have to create a little list here but let's say we have five elements and the default index is zero and we'll do that and before i forget i'm just going to delete this ddl okay um so that is that now we're gonna have to give it a list so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a std string um list li i guess equals so we'll make a few strings in here um five of them actually all right i'm gonna say something 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 and a few letters here so these are my lists okay and i'm just gonna put the font the number of elements so we got the list and then the number of elements so li and then five okay pretty much pretty good pretty good 
Uh, then we're going to go into update, update buttons, this ddl dot update, this mouse post view, this dt, no, and then dt, right? Wait, is there any dt in here? Oh, here's the dt. Okay, I'll do it up here then. Update buttons. Then dt as well. So there you go, we'll update it. And then we're going to render it at last. So ddl render target, dereferenced of course. And then semicolon. So let's see if this works. Probably not gonna work. We're gonna have to bug fix this. But uh, at least, at least hopefully it will. Oh, it looks, seems to have compiled GUI. Okay, I need to fix that, that little variable there. Ooh, okay. Well, at least, at least that shows. Is that really 50? Okay, okay. Well, at least that works and it didn't crash. All right, so let's go back in the GUI and we'll fix the problems. All right, so I found the problem. It was just the key time needs to be set to 0 0.0 here. And uh, let's see how it was. So that's pretty much what I changed, I think. I just printed it out just to see what's going on. And I got the update key time here. So all you want to do, this didn't seem to work for some reason, so I'm just going to do 0 0.0 here. And uh, yeah, key time max can be 1.0. So let me show you this beautiful drop down box. And let me show you how that looks. And in the next video, we're going to tweak it and we're going to use it. So boom, we got the drop down. Okay. And you can click it in and out. You can hold it. You can see how fast it's going. You can change that if you want. You can click all these buttons. Okay. So you can do that if you want. And that looks great. So we'll have all our beautiful little, uh, uh, what do you call it? Things in there. Um, the things, the thing majigs, the uh, resolutions and settings. And we can just choose settings. We can use that in game if we want. We can add options in there. Uh, we can do a bunch of things. So now we have a beautiful drop down list. Just remember to delete everything as you go on. And uh, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. And before I leave you, I'm not sure if this works. This should work. But I am deleting that pointer itself. I don't know what I'm deleting here. I'm not 100% sure. What we could do is just make a regular for loop. This list dot size. Okay, we'll just use a regular loop here. Just do that. If you want to use the other one, do it. But I'm, I'm afraid of memory leaks. I don't want memory leaks. So this... Um, uh, let's see this list at position I and we're just going to delete that uh, and then we'll delete all of that that memory so that should be good just do that in the destructor and then in the setting state obviously you want to make sure you deleted it here uh, but it's just a test so it's not the biggest of deals but just make sure you delete that in the destructor here somewhere uh, right here so just delete this ddl and you'll be fine so thank you guys and girls for watching in the next video we're gonna we're gonna customize it make it a little nicer uh give buttons some more options for outline colors and stuff and then we'll add uh, we'll work with the setting state a little bit so there you go thank you so much for watching take care uh check the description box drop a like subscribe if you like the content and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye